Good afternoon, everybody. This is Caleb, also known as Tabby Cats on YouTube, back with another video. So today, we're going to be doing a more in-depth test and uh, detail of the Honeywell Pro A7 Series uh, security alarm system panel. Um, one thing I do want to note before we begin, uh, two things actually, is A, it is on test mode, and B, uh, for the purposes of this video, we will be using the user code 1234. It is important to note that the user code 1234 is not a normal code for this system and should never be used as a master code or any code for that matter, unless it's a duress code, which is not the duress code on this system, and will be deleted from the panel after this video is complete. So without further ado... We're going to go ahead and start with the main control panel here. We have the Pro A97 security alarm panel by Honeywell Home. It's the Pro Series. So we're going to first start with very basic uh, instruction. To arm your security system, you're going to press the arm button. Your system will display three options. Arm away, arm home, and arm night. Arm night is not available for hours because we do not have a motion detector and we do not have two partitions. Arm away on most systems will arm your doors and windows, glass break detectors if applicable, and motion detectors if applicable. This is used when nobody is staying in the premises and will give you an exit delay and an entry delay to properly disarm your system before an alarm occurs and is sent to the central station. Arm home on most systems will arm your doors and windows and glass breaks if applicable, but will not arm your motion sensors, protecting the exterior and giving you room to move around inside of the premises without triggering an alarm. You can also set arm home to be a instant zone, meaning all delay doors such as back, the back door or the front door or the inside garage door that you would usually enter to disarm your system will cause an instant alarm. This is useful when you're home by yourself and are not expecting anyone else to return home at any point during the evening. You can turn the entry delay off by pressing this toggle switch. Silent exits also useful if say you're leaving and somebody is still in the premises and you don't want to wake them up. Before the, the exit delay can be silent if you switch this toggle before arming. So without further ado, let's move on to actually arming the system. In this demonstration, we're going to be leaving the premises and returning. Press arm away. Enter your four digit code, which for purposes of this video is 1234. Armed away. Exit now. You will have 60 seconds or the time programmed by your dealer to exit the building. Once the exit delay is complete, the system will be armed in away mode. The fast beeping indicates that you should exit, and if you don't have time, disarm the system and try again, or an alarm will occur. Armed away. The system is now armed in away mode. When returning home, enter back to your designated entry or exit door. The system will display this arm system now. Walk to the keypad and enter your authorized four digit code. Disarmed, ready to arm. The system has been successfully disarmed. We will now practice arming in the stay mode. Press the arm key and hit arm home. Enter your four digit code. Armed stay. You can have 60 seconds to let the dog out, fetch the mail if your mailbox is close to your door, etc. Once your exit delay has expired, 
it will have a delay on the main entry and exit doors because we did not select the instant option. I will show you this once the system is armed. Armed stay. So now that it is armed stay, when you return home, if you are out while someone else is in the home with the system armed stay, as long as they don't have the instant mode on, you will have a delay. Simply walk to your touchpad and enter your four digit code. Same as if you were entering from away. Ready to arm. The system is disarmed and ready. The next thing I'm going to show you guys is how instant mode works. To arm your system in instant mode when you're not expecting anyone else in a remaining home, hit arm, turn off the entry delay, and enter your four digit code. Armed stay instant. The system will announce that it is arm stay instant and you will still have an exit delay to once again fetch the mail or let the dog out. Once the exit delay expires, the system will announce arm stay instant. Armed stay instant. Now, when an exit delay door or another type of zone is tripped, there will be no delay and the system will go into an instant alarm. The internal siren as well as any external sirens will start and the alarm will be transmitted to the central station. The system will also announce the name of the zone trip and will display it on the control panel. And at the point you call the alarm company after canceling the alarm to avoid a false dispatch. Alarm front door. To cancel the alarm, enter your four digit code. Disarmed, not ready to arm. Once the system displays alarm is being canceled, press OK. Disarmed. Ready to arm. You will now want to call your central station if it is not an actual emergency to avoid a false police dispatch. If the police are dispatching arrive, make sure you have proper identification ready and do not make any sudden movements or start getting an attitude and be respectful and remember that your alarm system did its job and that you should be grateful. Once the police clear, make sure you call the alarm company to let them know that everything was okay. The next thing we're going to show is how to do the panic buttons. So first thing I'm going to show you is where the panics are. So there's a little tiny button down here in the lower left hand corner. It has a fire, a medical symbol, and a police badge. Press this button. The system will bring up the emergency display menu. You have four different options. Fire. Pressing this will immediately sound the internal sounder as well as smoke detectors if connected and will send a fire message to the central station. Evacuate and await the fire department. To sound a manual fire alarm, press the button. The smoke detectors will also activate. Fire alarm zone 995. If it is a false alarm or once the emergency is clear, press clear alarm. Enter your four digit code. Disarmed, ready to arm. Press OK. Disarmed, ready to arm. If it was a false alarm, call your central station to avoid a dispatch or if the fire department does show up, have your identification ready and explain it was a false alarm. Then call your alarm company and tell them everything's OK. If there is somebody in your home and you know that they are aware you have a security system or they see you and you need to scare them away but also call the police, you can press the audible police button. Once this button is pressed, a audible panic alarm signal will be sent to your central station. Take cover or defend yourself and wait for the police to arrive. Have your identification ready, same as if it was a false alarm. To activate an audible police alarm, press the blue police sound alarm button. The internal siren will sound and it will be logged to the central station for dispatch. 
Police Zone 999. There's a false alarm, or once the situation's clear, press clear alarm. Enter your four digit code. Disarmed, not ready to arm. And press OK. Disarmed, ready to arm. The next thing we're going to show you is silent police. Your silent police button is useful when there is someone either sneaking around the outside of your premises who has not gained access, or if somebody has a weapon and they do not notice you, but you still want to call the police and hide. To do this, press the silent alarm button. Note that most of the time, once this is pressed, it cannot be canceled as it goes through as a hostage or duress alarm. The alarm system will act normal, but is secretly sending a silent hold-up signal to your monitoring station. At this point, hide or defend yourself, whichever is the safest, and await police. Have your identification ready. If it is a false alarm, try calling your central station and identify yourself. If they will not cancel or the police arrive, be ready. Act courteous, have your ID ready, do not make any sudden movements, and let the officer know it was simply a false alarm. The next we're going to show you guys how to do is the medical alarm. The medical alarm is useful for when you have a situation where you, it is unsafe to call 911 and you can't talk, such as choking, or if you need to attend to someone giving them CPR. It is also useful for situations where you may not be able to move um, and get to a phone, but you are but someone is able to push the button for you. Um, in many cases, it can also be hooked to a pendant, so if you fall, it'll activate the same alarm. But to activate a medical alarm from the control panel, press the emergency icon in the corner and push medical sound alarm button. Upon doing this, a low tone will play and a medical alarm will be transferred to the central station. Alarm. Medical emergency. Zone. Nine hundred ninety six. The central station may try to call, and if you don't answer or you do call and it is an actual medical emergency, they will send the paramedics. To cancel the alarm, alarm. medical emergency zone nine hundred ninety six. Cancel the alarm if it is a false alarm or the medical emergency is over. Push clear alarm and enter your four digit code. Disarmed, ready to arm. Press OK. Disarmed. Ready to arm. If it is a false alarm, try to call your central station to avoid a dispatch. If the ambulance does arrive, simply have your identification ready and explain to them it was a false alarm. The next feature I'm going to show you guys is the hostage code. The hostage code is useful for when you're being held at gunpoint and an intruder is telling you to either arm or disarm the system. So to start, we're going to arm the system with our normal code. Armed, if a burglar is walking up to you right now and saying disarm the system, you're going to either press disarm or cancel, depending on which screen you're on, and enter your hostage code. It can be straight down the middle, straight across on one. I will not show you our hostage code, but I will enter it. And simply enter the code. Disarmed. Ready to arm. As you see, the system will act normally, but it is secretly sending a hold-up duress message. Note that alarms usually sent in this manner, same as the silent police button, cannot be canceled. If the officer arrives, be courteous, have your ID ready, it's playing it was a false alarm. So the next thing we're going to show you how to do is test your smoke detectors. Your system may be equipped with one or more smoke detectors. On this system, we have a downstairs smoke alarm and an upstairs smoke alarm. We're going to test both. Make sure before testing your smoke detector, you advise your central station so they do not dispatch the fire department. To test your Honeywell smoke alarm, simply press the middle until you hear the buzzer. The system will sound. Fire alarm, living room, smoke detector. To cancel the alarm, enter your four digit code. Disarmed, ready to arm. Disarmed, ready and to arm. And press OK. If this was a false alarm from cooking, or you've tested the alarm and forgot to put it in test mode, call your central station to avoid a dispatch, 
or await the fire department with your identification and let them know you are simply testing the system. We're going to test the upstairs smoke next. The same as the downstairs smoke, press and hold until you hear the buzzer. Same as the others, the system will sound and announce which detector has been triggered. Fire alarm, second floor, smoke detector. Enter your four digit code to cancel the alarm. Disarmed, ready to arm. Press OK. Disarmed, ready to arm. Same as if you were testing the other smoke detector, or if this is a false alarm, say from steam from the shower or cooking, simply call the alarm company to avoid a dispatch, or if the firemen show up, have your identification ready and explain to them it was a false alarm. The next feature I'm going to show you guys is the quick exit feature. The quick exit feature is useful for if you have your system set while sleeping and your spouse may leave earlier than you for a job. For this mode, we will have it armed in the stay mode with a delay. Armed stay. Once the system is armed, I will show you how quick exit works. Armed stay. Once the system is armed stay, if your panel's asleep, tap the screen to wake it up. Without, you can leave the system armed using this mode to protect people still on the premises, but still be able to leave. To leave, hit quick exit. You will now have a silent exit delay to exit the building. Shut the door firmly behind you, and the rest of the people that are left in the home will still be protective once the system rearms itself, which it will automatically do after the exit delay has expired. Armed stay. And the system will rearm itself. When you get up in the morning to disarm an arm stay system, push disarm, enter your four digit code. Disarmed, ready to arm. That is the quick exit feature. The next couple features we're going to show you is the system and alarm. To do this, arm your system. We'll say we're leaving the premises. Correction. We're leaving the premises. Arm away, enter your code. Armed away. Exit now. We will leave the house. Shut the door firmly behind you and lock up. Once the exit delay is expired, we'll show you what would happen if a burglar came through the door and did not have the code to disarm it. Armed away. Now that the system is armed, let's say a burglar kicks in the front delay door and does not have the code to disarm it. The entry delay will start as the bur burglar alarm does not know that an unauthorized person has entered the door. Once the delay time runs out, or if a burglar continuously enters a erroneous code, the system will go into a burglar alarm. For this demonstration, we'll let the time run out. The system is now an alarm and is transmitting a alarm to the central station. Alarm. Front door. The central station will call you and if you do not answer or you say that no one's supposed to be in the house, they'll send the police. When the scene is clear, enter your code to silence the alarm. Disarmed. Not ready to arm. Push OK. Disarmed. Ready to arm. One thing I should mention is if you return home, and the burglar alarm is going off, even if you don't believe anyone's in the house, and or if you believe the police have not been dispatched, do not enter the premises, as a burglar still may be inside and armed. Go to a nearby spot and call the police. The next we're going to show you how the glass break sensor options work, and this would also apply if it was a motion alarm. So, 
For this demonstration, we'll actually arm the system and say Armed stay. Once the exit delay runs out, we'll trip a window and show you guys how an instant glass zone would work if a burglar broke the window. Armed stay. Systems armed. Let's say a burglar was to try to break in through the back kitchen window. Alarm. Back. Window. The system is now transporting, transferring, excuse me, an alarm to the central station. If it's false alarm, either have your ID ready if the police have been dispatched or call the central station. To turn off the alarm, Alarm. Enter, back. Window. Enter your four-digit code. Disarmed. Not ready to arm. Push OK. Disarmed. Ready to arm. Remember, if someone's in the house, hide and await central station. Dispatch. The next feature I'm going to show you is more of a user feature. I have two more things I want to show you. The first is going to be this screen right here. Correction, three more things. You can turn the voice on and off, time on and off, adjust your brightness and volume. You can also clean the screen. Simply use a dry, never damp cloth wipe it. You also still have access to panics if something happens while you're cleaning your screen. Once the time runs out, the touch screen will become fully um, active again. So the next thing I'm going to show you guys is actually the last thing. I'm going to show you guys how to add and delete user codes. Press the three little dots down here, go down to Settings, User Management, enter your master user code. You have your master user code, which you cannot delete, you can only change, your DURAS code, which is the secret police code, and the test code. So as you see, test is what we're using for this system, test which is 1234. To change your test code or to any user code, we'll use it. Push the name of it. It's a four digit code, you can even change the name. So say I wanted to name it test one, save, you can do that. You can select what it can do. It's either a partition master code, arm only, guest, which is like a a uh, person staying, or a secondary user, pet sitter, stuff like that. If your system has Bluetooth capability, you can do that. And if you have Z-Wave locks, you can set if it can unlock and lock it. You change the pin, push the little pin right here. Enter your new pin, so instead of 1234, we'll say 4321. Confirm, 4321. And then hit save. Enter your master user code to save. There we go. And test one is now there. Since we are done with this video, we're going to go ahead and delete the 1234 code. Access the menu the same way to delete a code. Press the little square beside test one or the code you want to delete and push delete. Enter your master user code to confirm deleting the secondary user code. We now only have our master code and our duress code. No more 1234 and no more 4321. Always delete codes like that. Press the back arrow to exit. And one more thing, the display. Weather, time, if you scroll down or if your system's asleep it will show your cellular status, Bluetooth status, power status, and which Wi-Fi you're connected to. To return home, push the X in the upper right hand corner. And that is it for this video. I hope this was a little bit more of an in-depth look at the system. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and leave comments if you have any questions about the system. Stay tuned for more on different systems and maybe some more additions to this one. Bye. Have a great day.